Quick video about Rini test, often used in conjunction with Weber's test, try and work out whether a hearing loss is sensory neural or conductive. Now there's three main steps to a Rini test. You ping the tuning fork and number one, you put it on the mastoid bone at the back here and that's checking bone conduction. Number two, you then ping it again and put it in front of the ear this time and that's checking air conduction. And number three, you ask the patient which one do you hear it louder in? Is it bone at the back or is it air at the front? Now how do you interpret these? If the patient is hearing it louder in the front, i.e. air conduction is stronger than bone, then you're calling it a really positive test. This can either be a normal finding or a sensory neural hearing loss. If the patient is hearing it louder at the back, i.e. bone conduction is stronger than air conduction, then you call it a really negative test and this indicates a conductive hearing loss. So really positive is normal or sensory neural, really negative is conductive. So when we've got bone conduction at the back, air conduction at the front, you can work out which one is which. I'll do another video on Vabers which goes with this. Hope this helps.